Oh look, two stroke being used for exactly what it can actually do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody! Hi Dr. Nick! I oh, know that's not the same doctor, keep your fucking pants on. So I recorded uh, 10 videos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 videos! And the sound, no sound. <laughs> no sound whatsoever. Microphone, fucking shit the bed. Um, I need to get a bit of mirror. People, good idea, someone said, put a bit of mirror behind it so I can see the LED. Awesome green light for go. Although the weirdest thing is when I turn the mic on, it's got a green light and then it flickers to red and then it, it's, oh, it's, oh yeah, it's not that obvious what it's doing. Any road. Water wetter. I say let's start with the first one. I'm redoing all these videos. What a fucking pisser. Water wetter comments. So there's a lot of... That's the problem with two strokes. You can't, you can't fucking shut them up. Um. <laughs> and as soon as I go to say something, it starts up about the actual video. Like now. This is going to go on forever. We'll just wait. So, um, some, someone said, is that noise I can hear? Is that the sea? No, that's the wind. I'm getting a, I've, I've ordered a dead cat for this thing. Um, it'll, and I think it's coming today or tomorrow. I can't remember. Uh, right then, so water wetter. A lot of comments, people were saying stuff like, well, it's only really meant to be for race applications. That's uh, not what it says. You know, if they made that point, then fair enough, but that's not what they said. Um, they're trying to sell it to everyone. Um, people going on about surface tension, and fairy liquid can do that, and so on the turd, which generally, yes, the surface tension of water is all about how water beads up, so if you have a flat surface, the surface tension is what keeps all the molecules together um, before they break their, um, what is it, it's their mutual, um, togetherness <laughs> and if you go any more than this then uh, basically you are stretching this the radius you're stretching the radius of this bubble more than it can withstand so it bursts and it all leaks out and it goes what have you surface tension it's all about electrostatic um, relationships between molecules and blah blah and yeah there's loads of reasons but that will make as far as I understand fuck all difference to your coolant and how it absorbs water a lot of people said, you know, like it says on here, that guy fucking shuts up. Um, the lowest temperature, this is the weird thing, it says the lowest temperature there, it says water only 220, and then it says water only plus water wetter. That's what we're going to test, because I reckon that's bollocks. Um, but we'll see, because that's a big drop. That's 18 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Celsius, something like that. That's not much, is it? It's eight, nine degrees Celsius. That's fuck all. But that might be all you need. Eight degrees Celsius. Got nothing to rub the board down with. Um, eight degrees Celsius might be what you require. Maybe you are, you know, the SV for it's just sat there. The SV, for example, it says in the manual if you go over 120 degrees Celsius, then it's going to cook it stop the bike and eight degrees lower than that is enough so we'll see but yes water wetter um can be used now people going about corrosive inhibiting when you are racing racing or even track days generally you're not bothered about corrosion you'll never put enough miles on it number two is when you're racing doing track day bikes a good practice is to empty the machine of fluids um you know, so corrosion, you know, when we talk corrosion, we're talking about 50,000 to 100,000 miles. You empty, you know, we're going to use that shitty endoscope and we'll stick it down the SV and see what we can see. Um, but, you know, so the plan for this is, is that we are going to do runs, right? Not just, before I did uh, static temperature, 
um, graphs and all the rest of it with the uh, thermocouple. So what we're going to do is, I live in Cambridge, unfortunately, and over here <laughs> is that way is Bedford. Actually, no, it'll be that way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride up to Bedford and back and we're going to log the temperature. Now we'll do that with what it's got now which is 50-50 um, plus water wetter. We're then also then going to drop the system, we're going to flush it out with water and we'll use water only and we'll do that same run. And then, and what I, basically this is a real world scenario, you know, people might say well the runs won't be exactly the same, yeah of course they won't, but who, <laughs> bikes aren't the same. This, when, when companies make claims, they have to do what they say on the tin quite easily. So let me just put it this way. If I was making some magical coolant, or me and Dave got together and Dave did all the work and I was just the pretty face, <laughs> um, if we did that and we you know, manufactured a product and I did testing, right? Or me and Dave did testing or whatever. I'm taking all the, the glory for this fictitious uh, company. And we called it um, Max Jizz, right? And Max Jizz, um, we tested it. And repeatedly after test, after test, after test, after test, after test, after test Max Jizz versus your 50-50 coolant, let's just say the average was uh, 26 degrees Celsius. That's how much cooler it was. And uh, the peak we got, so the max, reduction in temperature we got was 33 degrees celsius and the minimum um you know was 24 just say i don't fucking know that's not the average of them but you know what i mean repeatedly we're getting that but the max and min um oh no you can't max and min that are that what am i fucking mind about i think that's something else so the average is 26 we've done hundreds of tests the minimum we ever got down to is 24 and the maximum we ever got down to 33 if I was making that product, I would then say that this product will always um, reduce temperatures by 20 degrees C. Always! Because I know that our lowest was 24, our, min our mean was, you know, our average was 26, and our maximum, our peak was 33. I'd say 20. It's a nice round number, it's nice to get your teeth around. We could possibly squeeze in 25, but it means that if anyone like anyone in our YouTube channel goes to test it, then we're going to, you know, and they come out with 27, you know what I mean? And then they do another test and they come out with 24, just say, or just say on a shit day, they got 22. The fact of the matter is, we're gonna look good. You know, we're gonna look good. Match gears will look fucking awesome because we are, you know, doing these things. Now, when a company like Waterges, the fuck in there is <laughs> so many bottles of stuff. When this says that it will uh, runs up to 20 degrees cooler, it, I know it says up to, but that's uh, wank. I'd, I'd say up to 20 degrees. So you've got a buffer there, safety margin of you will always perform what you've said. Um, helps control overheating. It's rubbish. You know what I mean? But the thing is, what we're arguing here is people might say, well, I did it and I did it and this and this and this and this. Oh, you're not. When you say, oh, yeah, the bike run a lot cooler, are you actually measuring it? Are you actually going out of your way to write down tables of results on every day? The ambient temperature? Of course you're fucking not. It's because you put it in and because you, you know, because you, you bought it and all the rest of it. And people say, you know, people say, oh, so-and-so, 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 or, all right, it might not be brilliant, but fuck off. They're saying to you that you can add this to anything. So for track racing, you can add it for corrosion properties, for, what is it, track days? Well, we'll see, because we're actually gonna do a run. You know, so it's 20 mile, 25 miles to Bedford from here, so that's 50 mile round trip. And hopefully, you know, we'll see and that's city running getting out of Cambridge, that's uh, dual carriageway 70 mile an hour getting up to fucking decent speeds but decent airflows, back down to city riding in Bedford and then the whole flip reverse. 
So I would expect that we'd see it go up, stay at high temperatures, come down when we do the actual dual carriageway run, come back up when we get to Bedford, and then a repeat. You know, a repeat of that, just down here like this, and then we shut the bike off. You know what I mean? We should see we should see something like that. That's what I'd expect when we're getting good airflow and when we're not, and that's where the peaks will be. That's what I'm predicting. And what we need to see is we need to see if there's is if there is a difference. It should always perform. You might say yes, but it's, it's not statistically um, representative, or it's, you know, statistically one run for each fluid is not enough. Yes, but it should work. They're making, like I say, they're making outlandish claims that it should do this. So it should work. Let's see if it actually does. You know what I mean? Let's see if it does. It's the same batch of stuff. I bought this off the shelf. You know what I mean? Cat so to speak, they've sent me whatever. This this was just literally off Amazon. I, they haven't sent me a special one out. People did make a good point about that, about a few things. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things where... Um, it has to work for them to make claims. It has to work above and beyond what they say. Not, I can't see any difference. And you know, and people do say, "What's the, you know, why, why, why?" This is like thirty quid. Thirty quid. You pour it in your bike after you've already filled it with coolant. You've already paid for your coolant. You know, you've already paid for your fifty-fifty. And it's, it's nonsense. If it doesn't work, I'm not saying categorically this is nonsense yet. We'll see. Um, but. It's the same thing with the Evans. The Evans is twice as expensive as coolant, and the reason why a proper hammer Evans is not only is it doesn't work, it works as a coolant, but then saying that, you know, it works better than sand. But do you know what works as coolant as well? Fucking Castrol Magnatech works as a coolant, just not as well as water. You know, saying it works, and that's the problem is people test these stuff. You know, people put Evans in their engine and go, well, it's still working. That's because you don't have a problem yet, you idiot. The problem is, is you're spending twice as much to get something that's worse. That's the thing that gets me with Evans. It's worse than your 50-50, and they're pretending it's better. And it's it's physics. You know, people say, how, how do you know, Matt? You haven't done all the tests. I know because it's physics. It's chemistry. It's science. It can't possibly... Unless Evans was ammonia. That is how it works. That's, that's just, let's just say this, right? You have water, right, which is the best, and then you have ammonia, right? That's it as far as liquids that you could get away with putting in your engine, right? Um, you know, mercury would work even better. The problem with mercury is, is it's fucking heavy, it's toxic, and it costs a fucking fortune. And there'll be other problems associated with mercury, like um, the solder, it, oh, the, the brazing in a sense in your radio will probably dissolve that because mercury does dissolve quite a few metals um, is it um, germanium dissolves in mercury or something it's crazy but anyway and it literally just dissolves like it's melting in it it's weird but anyway um, so and, and, and glycols are here right this is how good they are yeah so you just say that this is I can't remember what the numbers are but I think it's like 4.7 4.1 and 1.8 or something like that, 2. Let's just say 2, let's be generous. Let's just say 2. It, regardless of what the units are, let's just go with what their numbers are. Ooh. And as you can see, ammonia is the better. So if you go water, you are going to get the best you can. If you go ammonia, you're going to go better, right? Now, the glycols, if you go 50-50, you're going to end up here, but it's not as good as water, pure water. If you go glycols totally, it will work, but it's even worse. The only way Evans could be better is if Evans was made out of ammonia. You know what I mean? Uh, forget the glycols. If this was Evans, it is a glycol. It's shit. If you mix Evans 50 50, it's going to be better. And if you mix it, and we'll do it, we'll fucking do it. This is what I mean. I'm going to prove it to you. The SV is going to get some Evans. It's gonna cost me a fucking fortune for shit I know I'm just gonna fucking empty. But we are going to dry out that system like you haven't you you know you've never seen. Basically, I'm gonna fucking empty the system and then blow it through and then use a fucking heat gun, well basically a vacuum um, a hair dryer. And we're gonna blow hot air through the entire system for fucking ages, right? For a couple of hours. 
Um, so that system is dry, 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 dry. We'll get a refractometer or whatever and we'll get some... I've got some independent testers as well um, for testing uh, fluids. So one of the things I've got is I've got a... Um, oh, probe pen thing. Um, there it is. Now this is for testing... Um, this is they're, they're pretty cheap actually they're, and they're not brilliant but basically it's two probes and i'm going to show you how this works because we can test this on methanol uh, acetone brake fluid it's for testing brake fluid and it gives you um percentages it's got a little led and all it does is it basically just tests the conductivity of that fluid um as far as i get it that's as far as i understand um but it's a brake it's a brake liquid tester you just push the button and it tells you what colour it is. It tells you how much water there is in something. So we've got a bit of Lucasade in here. <laughs> right, put it in there, and it goes straight to red, saying that's plus four, more than four percent. Of course it is. It's fucking more like 90 percent, ninety-five percent. But we'll use, we'll calibrate. It. We'll see if I add a tiny bit of water to, um, just say something that definitely isn't water, like acetone or something like that. Um, you know, or even brake fluid, how does it does it pick up? We'll calculate 1%, we'll put 1% in it, we'll mix it up and then we'll test if this actually works. Um, I've also got a... Uh, where is it? A fluid tester. So this is a paste. You use for testing how much water there is in the bottom of your diesel. So it's a paste that changes colour. Um, Trying to get over some of them test strips that they use at Evans, but they don't, whatever. We'll use the prep fluid, I'm not going to fuck them over. It is bullshit, it's just ethylene glycol, but I have to fucking buy that as well. But we'll buy that, I'll do their entire procedure better than they actually want us to do it. Right, we will get lower than 1% easily. I was losing my shit, not being able to find anything to cut this with. <laughs> uh. Any road. Um, so we'll test this, we'll test water wetter. Um, now, let me make it very clear that if this stuff, that if you are running just water and you do care about corrosion in your track bike and you do want to go and buy this, go buy this. It probably does have, and I'm doing the test now, it probably does have some corrosive properties, uh, anti corrosive properties um, that will help it work. We're going to talk about as soon as how these inhibitors work. Um, but you know what I mean they're, they're not talking about this they're not saying this is an additive you can just add to water weirdly enough on the front water wetter super coolant runs up to 20 degrees cooler harmful if swallowed helps control overheating great for cars, trucks, motorcycles, RTVs RVs, ATVs and snowmobiles all with water cool engines well obviously air cool ones aren't going to really find it that useful then it says, what does it do? Doubles the wetting ability of water, improves heat transfer, we'll find out. Reduces cylinder head temperatures, we'll find Well, it doesn't. Reduces rust corrosion electrolysis, it could do. Cleans and lubricates water pump seals, unsure about that, I don't think there's enough of it. Uh, can be used with all antifreeze coolants. Improves the ability of coolant to wet heat transfer surfaces by 50%. It could do. This provides significantly better cooling contact in the head and can reduce coolant and head temperatures as much as 20 degrees F. It can be used with 100% water in racing but does not protect magnesium or alter freezing point. It does state that it's not an antifreeze. So what is it? It's meant to make your engine cooler. We'll find out. We'll find out just with water. The reason why I'm doing the water test with the SV as well is, um, is to show you... Um, you know, if you run just water, does it actually work? Not just that, we've got 50-50 in there at the moment, you know. And like I said, we'll go on to all the Evans stuff, and the Evans will get the same fucking test, and, the, and the, there's a, a surprise, well not a surprise, there's another comparison in there we're going to do. That's all to do with Evans, and that's all later. Right now, I'll shut up. Hope you met up. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.